All right, so we're gonna do a little testing with the Schnitt power. I guess that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. Uh, it says from three volts to 12 volts. Now I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna test it right here for voltage with the uh, multimeter here. And uh, <clears throat> we're gonna see how accurate it is and if it can actually do three volts to 12 volts. Okay, so we're gonna turn it on to its very minimum rating. Uh, it has not come on yet. Oh, wait a minute. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. It takes a while for it to fire up. That's probably because it has capacitors in it to give you a full 10 volts. I will tell you right now, I mean, uh, 12 volt, uh, yeah, 10 volt, uh, 10, <laughs> 10 amps. I will tell you right now, I did talk to the uh, vendor and they said it will do 10 amps, but it will not sustain 10 amps. Uh, that's why it has a capacitor in it. Um, it will do, they said it would sustain eight amps, which is still a lot for such a small power supply. That's a lot. So we're gonna test this. It, I also talked to them and they said, the reason it doesn't go below four volts is cost. And uh, once they go down to three volts, for some reason, the cost greatly increases. So it's really not three volts to, to uh, 12 volts, it's four volts to 12 volts. I don't know why they didn't change that. Uh, it says it right here, three volts to 12 volts. Maybe they just, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know why, but it's not three volts to 12 volts. And if you need a three volt application and as low as you can go is four volts, you're gonna be overshooting by 30%. So as long as you're whatever you're testing or whatever you're trying to run at three volts uh, will handle a full vo four volts, you'll be fine. So uh, anyway, we're gonna test this and uh, there you go. Four volts, just like it's reading out. It's almost exactly the same. There we go. The meter says four volts and the Schnitt power readout says 399 to 401. That's within tolerance. So let's crank it up to, uh, oh, let's go to five volts. That's the next one that everybody uses is five volts. So we'll just crank it on up. Five volts, four, five, nine. Let's keep on going. There we go. Oh, 4995, let's see if I can get it right on. 502, 499, that's pretty good. That's pretty close. 5.05 is fine. I'm going to test it and 5.03. So yeah, this readout here is reading out accurate. 504 for the meter and 505 for the Schnitt power readout. That's, that's good. All right, let's go on up to, uh, oh, let's go to 12 volts because that's the next one up that everybody uses. Five and 12 are the most popular. So we will go to 12 volts. And that's another thing. Uh, it says 11.9. Most of the power supplies I've tested, when they say 12 volts, they give you 12.3, 12 12.4. 12 uh, they don't ever come in lower. And I asked them about that and uh, actually forgot what they said about it. But they said it was within their tolerance. You know, they tested it on a bench and 11.9 was, was close enough for them, I guess. I, I would have liked to seen it go a, over 12 a little bit just for a little headroom. But... Um, they didn't, and so I'm not going to call that bad. It's 11.9. We're going to see what the meter says. The, 11, the meter says 11.89, 11.84. So you're not you're not getting 12 volts out of this. I know it's uh, it's only a couple hundred millivolts, but all the same, you know, if I'm going to buy something and it says 12 volts, I expect to get 12 volts out of it. So I'm going to hit them on that. Um, that's about it. The other thing is, is that uh, when you shut this off, and I asked him about that too, when you shut it off, we're gonna watch this. I'm gonna shut the meter off. When you shut this off, it will stay on for quite a while because there's a capacitor, and usually capacitors are at the power supply end, as close as you can get to it, uh, to the outgoing power supply cord. So right here would be the capacitor, and this is what I'm thinking anyway, and this is the uh, on-off switch. Uh, I asked him about that because I didn't like it being on for three to four minutes for it to run out. Of course, the higher you run it, the higher you current you run it, the uh, longer it will take for it to run out. But uh, I think 
and I'm, I'm not an electronics engineer or anything, I'm just a kind of a hobbyist and I don't know a whole lot at all, but I was thinking that if they swapped the capacitor, which I think is right here with this, and put the capacitor right in back of this, which would make it a little bit further away, as soon as you turn the power off, it's not gonna go anywhere. It'll bleed off slowly and internally, just as it, as it does, as capacitors do, um, but it wouldn't be giving you power here. Uh, so we're gonna shut it off. And now we're going to watch it see that's off and it's still mm -hmm. it's still showing that it's it's putting out voltage and that's because the capacitor is discharging slowly so you will see that it takes quite a while it keeps bouncing around here we go and it'll come back again off and come back again and it'll go off and come back again so it's just it's just bleeding off is what it's doing and uh, it'll do that for for a while and uh, I don't I didn't like that and they said they were working on it and you know so anyway uh, it won't do three volts it won't do a solid 12 volts and uh, I don't I'm not completely unhappy with it because it will do almost 12 volts it'll do 11.89 11.9 that's really close but it really should it really should do 12 12 2 right around in there and uh, that's disappointing to me and i'm going to hit them on it in my review and as far as not going down to three volts uh for me it doesn't matter because i don't have any three volt applications it's five and 12 for me and mostly 12 but i would like to get 12.2 and that would be this thing's putting out 11.9 so in order to get a little bit more overhead on it you're looking at you know um you know quite a you know that's like not a lot but it, i would just like it to be a little bit over mm -hmm. um you know three or four hundred more millivolts it's a half a volt um th that's you know they're shorting you a little bit here and, and i don't think they're trying to do that it's just they're trying to keep it under the cost under control and and uh and that's how they're doing it you know so yeah. and this right here peels off it's a plastic protector here i haven't even taken it off but uh anyway um i think it does anyway i think that's a protector there if it's not it's some sort of defect let's see sure what that is yeah there you go it's just a little protective thing they have on the screen there they all have that and uh, anyway I'll get that off later I'll get it off right now just to make sure that it, that's exactly what it is just in the yep that's it so uh, scratched it a little bit right there no big deal anyway uh, yeah, so it won't it won't go all the way to three. It'll go to four, and it won't go all the way to twelve. It'll go to eleven point nine or eleven point eight nine, and it bleeds off slowly. Other than that, it looks like it's it's pretty good. Uh, I will say that, like I said, you know, eight amps coming out of this. If it, if it's true what they say that it will really sustain eight amps at five volts or twelve volts, especially at twelve volts, that that's a lot of power coming out of something small like this. Even good size bench supplies that are, you know, this tall, you know, $80 bench supplies, it, they're more like, like three to five amps. So if this really does eight sustained, th that's a pretty good deal. Uh, well, it's $30, so it should do that. It's getting up there. Anyway, uh, that's it.